Hey, my name's Chris, and I'm going to show you how to measure a load cell with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW. So most load cells are strain gauge based, so actually on the inner diaphragm are tiny strain gauges whose resistance change proportionally to the amount of load applied. So normally you need a couple things to measure a load cell. You need something to provide an excitation voltage. And also, since the load cell only outputs a signal in the millivolt range, you need some sort of signal conditioning to amplify the signal. And then lastly, you need a data acquisition device to measure the signal. So in this case, we're going to be using an NIC series device that combines all those functions into a single module. It provides the excitation voltage, the signal conditioning, and the measurement. So we're going to go ahead and plug this up to our USB sleeve here. And then this sleeve is connected back to the computer through the USB cable. And then I can uh, plug in the, the, the sensor here to channel zero. And now we're going to switch over to LabVIEW and create a new VI. And then on our block diagram, we're going to right click, go to input, and add a data acquisition assistant. So the DAC assistant is a step-by-step -step wizard that allows me to quickly configure my measurement. And so in this case, we're going to be acquiring a signal and doing an analog input and we're going to scroll down here to the the force measurement type and we're doing a, a bridge based force measurement and so my uh, analog input module has four channels we connected the sensor to analog input zero and we'll click finish and now we got a couple more settings to configure here we can set our uh, minimum and maximum input range we can also change the the units here and the next thing we want to do is configure our scale so our sensor normally ships with a calibration certificate and we can enter some of those values here. Um, so in this case on the electrical side, we're going to enter 0 0.0225 for our first value and 0 0.0215 for our second value. And that corresponds to 0 pounds and 0 0.066 pounds. So we'll click OK. And then we're going to keep the bridge type uh, as full bridge. And then since our module has built-in excitation, we're going to leave it as internal. And we're actually going to change the excitation value from 2.5 volts to 10 volts. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to continuously acquire our measurements. So we're going to change it from in samples to continuous samples. And then hit OK. And now the DAC assistant is actually going to prompt me and say, do you want to add a while loop around the DAC assistant, I'll say yes. And then now on our front panel, we're going to right click, go to graph indicator, and we're going to add a waveform graph. And then wire up that terminal from the block diagram to the output of our DAC assistant. And so now that's all we have to do. We can click run. We can see the measurement from our load cell here. It's actually auto scaling to the measurement. And now when I, when I tap on the load cell, we can see the measurement. And so that's how you measure a load cell with an NI data acquisition device in LabVIEW.